السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر سعید علی مردان ادمی ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل ان دس لیکچر وی ول لرن سم بیسک اباؤٹ سفیریکل کوارڈینیٹس اینڈ دین وی ول لرن ہاؤ وی کین ایویلویٹ ٹریپل انٹیگرلز ان سفیریکل کوارڈینیٹ سسٹم سفیریکل کوارڈینیٹ ریپرزنٹس اے پوائنٹ پی ان سپیس بائی دا آرڈر ٹریپلیٹس رو فائی اینڈ تھیٹا ان وچ رو از دا ڈسٹینس اف دا پوائنٹ فرام دا اوریجن فائی از دا اینگل او پی میکس وتھ پازیٹو زیڈ ایکسس دس از اینگل فائی اینڈ تھیٹا از دا اینگل فرام سلنڈیکل کوارڈینیٹس وچ از with positive x axis now after this brief introduction these are the transformation equation and in spherical coordinates our small differential volume element will be written as rho square sin sin of phi d rho d phi d theta now we will learn how we can evaluate question number 23 from thomas calculus 12th edition book exercise 15.7 In spherical coordinates, our most inner variable is always rho, our central variable is always phi, and our outer variable is always theta. Here, the limits of rho are 0 to 1 minus cos of phi over 2, limits of phi are 0 to pi, and limits of theta are 0 to 2 pi. Now, in order to perform the integration, please note that with respect to rho, The terms containing phi and theta will behave like constants. So here, sine of phi is constant, and we'll perform the integration of rho square with respect to this power formula. So integration of rho square is rho cube over three. Sine of phi remain as it is. Integration of rho square is rho cube over three for the given limits. In the next step, applying the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. Making the simplification, we have. 1 over 3 into 1 over 2 cube outside of the integral and we are left with 1 minus cos of phi whole cube into sin of phi in the next step in order to perform integration with respect to phi we have to apply this formula and what is this formula if the derivative of function is available as a multiplier in the process of integration we will add 1 in the power of function and divide with the same so the In order to perform the integration, the derivative of one minus cos of phi is zero plus sine of phi, and sine of phi is available here, so we can apply this formula for the given limits. So the integration is here one minus cos of phi whole power four over four for the limit zero to pi. In the next step, we can take this four outside, and we can apply the limits upper limit minus lower limit, making the simplification. We have 2 raised to the power 4 over 96 integration of d theta for the limit 0 to pi is theta applying the limits we have 2 pi over 6 which is equal to pi by 3 i hope you understand this question please like subscribe and share this content with your fellows allah hafiz